Man, it's dark out here. Hey, what's going on, guys? I figured today before we get into the video, I'll go ahead and answer these five questions that I've been slacking on. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, number one is, who has been the most influential drummer to you? Hands down, I gotta say Gary Chafee. Um, I thought I knew how to play drums until I started looking at his stuff and reading his books. Totally changed the way I play. Um, what is your favorite time signature? I gotta say 7-4, hands down 7-4. Um, next is, you play different fills slash grooves, more advanced online than you play in church. Why is that? You know, that's crazy that um, this question is on there. I was just talking to one of my students last night about this whole situation. And um, we went through the fact of, you know, hey, guess what? You do have a part to play in it, but you're not the only part that's getting played. You do have to share that space with all the other musicians and even the singers. Um, number two, my main thing is, hey, I used to be what's called a Uno player, and I see a lot of young drummers doing this as well. An Uno player is this. If you ever play the game Uno, the game or the goal of the game is to get rid of all of your cards and be the first one to get rid of your whole hand. And that's, yeah, it used to be me. I'd play everything that I knew and get rid of my whole hand. And then guess what? I got nothing else to show. Now I'm like, guess what? I'm not putting my whole hand out there. I'm going to play what I need to play and not just show everything that I got. So that's the reason for that. Um, number four, can I find you on social media? Actually, I just started a uh, Instagram um, channel. It is called d drum channel as in the letter d drum and then channel all right <laughs> number five puedes dar una lección en español claro que si yo puedo enseñar una lección en español all right that's it guys let's go ahead and get into this thing